Nine, nine, ready. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the next speaker is Tomotaka Kuwahara from Riken, and he's going to tell us about information propagation in long range interacting systems. So please start. Uh, thank you for the uh, introduction. Okay, uh, let's start my presentation. Uh, my name is Tomotaka Kuwahara. Uh, my affiliation is uh, Riken AIP, Riken ISM, and Keio University. The presentation title is the information propagation in long range interacting systems. Uh, this work is collaboration with uh, KH Saito in Keio University. And uh, our work is, has been published in PRX and uh, PRA. Sorry. Uh, first, I will show the outline of our uh, results. Uh, in this talk, I consider the uh, long range interacting system, uh, which is characterized by uh, power, uh, low decay of the inter in interaction strengths. Uh, my fundamental research motivation is the Leap Robinson bound, uh, which characterizes the speed of the information propagation. Uh, the Leap Robinson bound defines the effective light cone, and uh, outside uh, of the light cone, the amount of information decays uh, very rapidly with the distance. Uh, in the short range interacting systems, uh, this light cone is known to, known to be linear with respect to the time. However, the problem is very non-trivial. Uh, when we consider the long range interacting systems, uh, then the linear light cone problem uh, gives the question on what is the critical uh, ex power exponent alpha uh, to ensure the linear light cone in long range interacting systems. And this is the uh, last description of, of our results. Uh, first, if alpha is larger than 2d plus 1, this d is a spatial dimension, then the effective light cone uh, is proved to be linear with the time. Also, we prove uh, that uh, this condition is tight. In other words, uh, we give the tight in some bound, and the rough form is given by this uh, inequality. OK, so I will show the setup of our work. Uh, now, uh, the system size is small n, and the spatial dimension is uh, large d. Uh, first, for the simplicity, I consider the time-independent Hamiltonian with two-body interactions. Uh, each of the uh, interactions decay polynomially uh, with the distance. Uh, the decay rate is now uh, characterized by the exponent alpha. This Hamiltonian can be generalized to arbitrary, I mean, the uh, k-local, I mean, the k-body interacting Hamiltonians and the time-dependent Hamiltonians. Also, this class of uh, Hamiltonian can be experimentally realized by using, for example, cold atom setup. Here, the exponent alpha can be controllable to some extent. Uh, to, some, uh, to some extent, I consider the time evolution uh, by this Hamiltonian and consider the uh, approximation in a local region, uh, uh, which I uh, define by OIT I bracket R. This uh, black, uh, I bracket out is extended uh, ball region uh, from the side I up to the distance R. And the uh, approximation is given by this form. Then the uh, fundamental question is whether the, this uh, time evolved operator is well approximated by using this uh, local approximation. The Lee Robinson bound gives a very general answer to this fundamental question. Uh, the Lee Robinson bound is usually uh, characterized by the norm of the commutator between two operators. And uh, one of which is uh, given by a time evolved, time evolved operator. In the case of the short range interacting system, uh, the very famous work uh, by Leap and Robinson uh, gives upper bound of the norm to, the, to this commutator in this form. Now, uh, the, this commutator norm is uh, upper bounded by exponential function, so it decays exponentially with the distance beyond the Vt. 
This V is known to uh, call the, uh, usually called the Lee Robinson velocity. Uh, by using this uh, commutator inequality, uh, we can also obtain the local approximation of the time evolved operator in uh, small local regions. Uh, and the inequality is given by this form uh, by using the uh, analysis by Braviator in PRL 2006. So uh, we can see that the uh, local approximation is very good if R is sufficiently larger than Bt. So the effective light cone is now characterized by R is equal to Bt. And also I want to notice that uh, this effective light cone can be experimentally observed both in short range and uh, long range interacting systems. Okay, so I go to the linear light cone problem in long range interacting systems. Uh, in the case of the uh, short range interacting systems, uh, it is very natural uh, to expect that the speed of the information propagation is finite and the effective light cone is linear with respect to the time. But in the case of the uh, long range interacting Hamiltonian, the information immediately propagate to arbitrary distances. So it is very non-trivial whether such a linear light cone can be obtained or not. The first rigorous result uh, on the effective light cone in long range interacting systems was given by Hastings and Coma in 2006. There, they give uh, this form of uh, approximation inequality uh, for the time evolved operator. Because of this exponential uh, of uh, Bt, I mean that this exponential uh, form, uh, this bound gives a good approximation only uh, when R is much larger than exponential of order T. So this gives the so-called uh, uh, exponential light cone. This is mathematically rigorous result, but uh, in various numerical simulations, it has been known that, uh, I mean, various long range interacting systems still retain the linear light cones in practical uh, numerical calculations. Then uh, we naturally come up with this very fundamental questions, uh, or which we call the uh, linear light cone problem. Uh, what is the critical exponent uh, critical exponent alpha C about which the linear light cone is ensured in long range interacting systems. So far, uh, there are so many previous works on the long range uh, Lee Robinson band, but uh, I will show a few of them. Uh, please see the introduction of a, uh, of a PL, uh, PL, PLX paper for more details. The most famous uh, improvement is given by phosphate it, uh, uh, originally, the uh, Lee Robinson bound is uh, given by the form of uh, which gives the exponential light cone by Hastings and Coma. But uh, in 2015, uh, the phosphate et al. Uh, proves that this form of uh, polynomial light cone, uh, I mean, they give the effective light cone in this form and uh, Ex this exponent is given by uh, alpha minus d plus one over alpha minus two d. So when the exponent alpha is sufficiently large, the shape of the light cone is nearly linear. So uh, their result uh, gives the nearly linear light cone for sufficiently larger. And the result by phosphate uh, has been uh, slightly improved by Tran et al. in 2019, and they give the, this uh, improved form of the effective light cone. Moreover, uh, by Chen and Lucas in 1D two body interacting systems, this commutator inequality has been rigorously de derived for alpha is larger than three. The point of this upper bound is that uh, the bound is non-trivial up to t is equal to the distance. So this gives the finite speed of the scrambling. 
However, this is restricted to 1D system and the bound is very weak. By using this upper bound, uh, the approximate the local approximation error is given by this form, and we cannot obtain the linear light cone. In our work, uh, we solved, uh, solved all the drawbacks in the previous results. Our main results are uh, given in the form of these two deep Robinson bounds. The first inequality is the commutator inequality, and the second inequality is relevant to the error of the local approximations. There are three remarks uh, of this result. Uh, first, uh, this result gives a good local approximation uh, when R is larger than V bar T. This V bar is uh, our Lee Robinson velocity. Sorry, uh, yes, so therefore the linear light cone is obtained for alpha is larger than 2D plus one. The second remark is that uh, we here consider the local approximation, yeah, sorry, uh, the operate, local operator which is defined uh, on one side, uh, but uh, the results are easily generalized to arbitrary non-local operators like uh, OX or OY. The subset XY dependence is a bit, bit complicated, so please see our uh, paper in PRX. Third uh, remark is that uh, this inequality holds only for alpha is larger than 2D plus 1, and for alpha is smaller than or, or equal to 2D plus 1, that this inequality may break down. In particular, for alpha is smaller than or equal to D, there is an explicit example that the polynomial light cone uh, breaks down. As I will discuss afterward, it is a very important question to answer whether the polynomial light cone can be uh, retained for alpha is larger than D. The condition of alpha is larger than 2D plus 1 seems to be very restrictive. So we have a question uh, that uh, can we improve the uh, current Lee Robinson bound furthermore? For this question, the answer is no. In other words, uh, we can explicitly give an example that the linear light cone can be break down for alpha is smaller than 2D plus 1. Uh, in order to discuss this point, uh, let's consider a quantum state transfer by uh, the quantum many body dynamics. I follow the discussion by Bravi et al. in 2006 papers. We first consider the all up state, I mean the zero states uh, in qubit system. Then we aim to understand the amount of information which can be sent from the qubit A to the qubit B. Now the input is the unitary operators U0 or U1. This U0 is the identity operator. So this does not change the uh, total state. And U1 is a flip operator from the zero state to the uh, one state. After the input, uh, input unitary operations, uh, we consider the time evolution uh, by the long range Hamiltonian and investigate the reduced density matrix of the qubit B which is given by uh, low B, uh, yeah, this low BS, low BST. Uh, this is the output of this uh, protocol. If we can distinguish uh, the, reduce, uh, the output state low B0 T or low B1 T with the probability one, we can achieve the uh, perfect uh, quantum state transfer. By using the deep Robinson bound, uh, we can obtain the upper bound on the distinguishability between the states rho B1t and rho B0t. This is upper bounded by using this commutator bound. So by using our theorem, uh, this is upper bounded by r to the power of minus alpha times t to the power of 2d plus one. Our purpose is to give uh, explicit quantum dynamics, which achieve this uh, lower bound. If we can obtain this kind of lower bound uh, by combining uh, combining the, this upper bound, uh, we can ensure that the, our theorem is qualitatively tight up to the coefficient. Indeed, this is uh, this lower bound is 
easily achieved by using a simple, uh, simple C-not-type short-range uh, interactions and the Ising-type long-range interactions. In the first step, uh, we copy the input state by using the C-not uh, gate operations, and uh, we uh, denote the uh, subset by LA. And at the same time, uh, we prepare the GHZ state, which includes the qubit B. Uh, we uh, define the subset LB, which, uh, which is included in this GHZ state. Uh, this step uses a time of t over 3. So the number of qubits uh, of the copies and the GHZ state uh, order of, order of t. In the second step, uh, by using the long range Ising type interactions, uh, we rotate the GHZ state. Uh, dependent on the initial state, I mean the initial state 0, 0 or 1, 1, uh, the phase shift, uh, I mean the, uh, the sign of the phase shift is different. When the initial state is 0, the phase shift shift is uh, plus i theta. And if the uh, original initial state is uh, the one state, the phase shift is minus, uh, minus theta. This step also uses a time of 2 over 3. So the phase shift can be as large as t times the cardinalities of LA and LB over uh, r to the power of alpha. In the third step, uh, we disentangle the GHD state and concentrate the phase shift to the qubit B. Then the output state is now given by this form. We can easily obtain the norm difference uh, between the low B0t and low B1t by uh, the sine 2 theta. Because the theta is given by, yeah, given by this form, uh, and the LA and LB is, oh, is order of T. So the sine 2 theta is roughly uh, lower bounded by T to the power of 3 over R to the power of alpha. R to the power of alpha. In the case of a high, di high dimensional system, the uh, cardinality of LB, LA and LB uh, can be as large as T to the power of D. So we can obtain the desired lower bound. Also, at the same time of the uh, publication of our paper, uh, Tran et al. also uh, obtained more explicit lower bound uh, for the long range deep Robinson bound. Finally, uh, I will show several recent studies on the deep Robinson bound in the regimes of alpha uh, is smaller than 2D plus 1. Uh, we have obtained the optimal Lee Robinson bound for alpha is larger than 2d plus 1, at least in a uh, qualitative, way, qualitative way. But it is still open uh, to clarify what happens to, for the case uh, of alpha, to, uh, alpha smaller than 2d plus 1. First, the state of the uh, art results gives the polynomial light cone uh, in this form. Yeah. The exponent is now given by alpha minus d uh, uh, over alpha minus uh, 2d. The original derivation is quite intricate, but in our PRA paper, we have uh, given very simple one page proof uh, for this uh, polynomial light cone. Then the problem is uh, to understand the regimes of alpha, uh, which is smaller than 2d. In this case, uh, very, sim uh, very recently, a uh, quantum protocol to utilize the long range interactions and uh, uh, achieve a uh, sub exponential light cone has been developed. So, sub exponential light cone like this form, now this kappa is smaller than one, can be obtained. In other words, uh, in general case, uh, we have no chance to prove the polynomial light cone in the regimes of alpha smaller than 2D. But if we consider the out of time order correlators, uh, which, which is called OTOC, uh, we can prove the polynomial light cone like this form. Here, the exponent is given by two, uh, two alpha minus D plus one over two alpha minus 2D. The OTOC also 
uh, characterize the, uh, the speed of information propagation. So in the regime of alpha smaller than 2D, uh, some kinds of information propagation is still highly limited. Okay, I will summarize the talk. Uh, we consider the long range interacting systems with power law decay exponent alpha and consider the linear life comp problem, uh, which gives, uh, which characterize the critical alpha C to ensure the uh, linear life comp in long range interacting systems. We give the general answer uh, to this question and uh, prove that the critical exponent is given by 2D plus one and about which the Lee Robinson bound is given by this form. And this uh, Lee Robinson bound uh, is tied up to some coefficient. The open question is these two uh, problems. Uh, if the alpha is just above the uh, critical value, uh, can we obtain the linear light cone? This is the first open question. And the second uh, open question is further elaboration of the Lee Robinson bound in the regimes of alpha uh, is smaller than 2D. That's all of my. Uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. So, any question? Uh, Tezuka san, please ask a question. Sorry, I just grabbed my hand. <laughs> I understand. Okay, uh, Aoki san. Okay, yeah, please go ahead. So, if we will see you, we see your result in the middle. Right? For what happens if for t is very large? If t is very large, it's decaying or? Oh, if in, in this uh, inequalities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if t is very, very large, then yeah. uh, this distance should be also very, very large. Or the okay, so the inside must be positive. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. This, what is this DIJ, definition of DIJ? Is, oh, DIJ is the distance between the site I and the site J. So, but we can fix sometimes. Yeah. Oh, in this case, if the T is sufficiently yeah. large, then the inequality is meaningless. Okay, okay, yeah, no. So, any other question? So can I ask one question? So, is capital D a space time dimension? Capital D, yeah. This is a space dimension. Oh, I see. So the alpha, the critical value of alpha is determined by the dimensionality of the system. Yes. I see. Uh, any other question? Not? Okay. If not, let's thank the speaker again. Okay. Thank you very much. Wait, what? 閉じても大丈夫ですかね。あ、大丈夫です。感謝します。あ、後藤君、ハーさんまだ。Yes。いや、could you please share your screen？ あ、uh,、can can I allow me to share screen？ あ、um,、uh, I think you are not co-host， so you can share your screen、uh,。Sorry, um, I'm not allowed to share screen somehow. Oh, really? Um, so Apparently, I, I there think... are two accounts. Yeah, yeah. I, by I, the I, same name, accounts. Kanato Goto, and the yeah, only sorry. one is co-host. So, um... yeah, sorry for that.